Let me, uh, let me tee this up for her. Amali Bizzardi, she is the president of Colors of Life and uh, born in Italy. She studied art and communication at the University of Bologna with Umberto Eco. Amalia became convinced that art, and I agree with Amalia on this one, Amalia became convinced that art can be a vehicle for social change. She began to advance this cause by organizing artistic events within the framework of cultural interchanges with other countries. She continued to pursue her passion as a juror, gallery owner, and participant in international art fairs. And today, as I mentioned, is, uh, is founder and president of Colors of Life. She creates opportunities for talented artists from around the world and raises funds and awareness of issues affecting children. Amalia Zardi, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being here. It's been a pleasure to have you all around. Okay, as you have been told, I'm the founder of this Colors of Life, which is a small, young uh, nonprofit that believes that combining art with uh, philanthropic activities, the lives of less fortunate children can be improved. <laughs> Uh, generally speaking, uh, since uh, its beginning five years ago, Colors of Life has organized uh, events uh, which has been uh, culturally and artistically involving, uh, but socially demanding. Uh, this year, we have dedicated this Colors of Life 2011 to uh, Every Child Matters. And uh, I'm really very happy for this choice because uh, very few times I've seen people working so passionately, uh, trying to give a voice to children, protect them, and defend them. Because at the very end, I think that this is what we all want, right? Children that are safe, well, and taken care of. Thank you. Colors of Life organize every single year an international photo contest to raise funds and awareness on issues that affect children and youth. <clears throat> this year, uh, I would like to thank some uh, people around, so it's like the Oscars night, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, huh, I've lost my speech, just joking. <laughs> okay, I, I will try to remember it, and with my you know, Italian accent, let's see what it comes out. <laughs> okay, first of all, I would like to thank the photographers because uh, without them, of course, uh, this uh, competition uh, wouldn't, wouldn't have been possible. The photographers who are here and the ones who couldn't make it. So thank you very much. Your images have been really beautiful. I would like also to thank uh, the Colors of Life staff for having worked so much and so hard at night and day, practically. <laughs> And then my very special thanks go to Miss Anne Schumard, who is the curator of, uh, photo of photographs for uh, the National Portrait Gallery. And she has been selecting the five, uh, for, uh, the five first uh, um, winning photographs. Unfortunately, she is not mm -hmm. here. So I would have liked her to announce uh, the prizes. And uh, surprise, I have to do it. So. Uh, I need uh, the uh, announcement cards because it's a surprise also for me. <laughs> I hope that you have enjoyed all these pictures. They come from uh, photographers from uh, um, America and from all over the world and it's, their uh, contribution and collaboration has been really amazing. You know, We have been receiving photographs from Bangladesh Pakistan, uh, you know, almost uh, every state of the uh, United States, and it has been amazing to see how people really uh, take this, uh, has taken this to their heart. Okay, so we have two honorable mentions and uh, third, second and third prize. So let me tell you that one of the honorable mentions goes to Jen Ross for the photograph Child Beggar. Is uh, Jen Ross here? I don't know her. Okay, wonderful. 
this for you, and we have also a certificate somewhere. Nikia? We'll find it. We'll find I'm sure it. you will. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I don't think I, I, I. It's not that I didn't uh, remember my speech. I did. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I found the other honorable mention here, you see? Yeah, okay. And uh, another honorable mention goes to Yvonne Humphreys for the photograph Little Me and Her Dad. of the 2011 Colors of Life International Photo Contest goes to Daniel David Lazar, Lazar for the photograph Circle of Friends. Okay, uh, Mr. Lazar is in Australia. He's an Australian photographer, so he cannot be here, of course, but, uh, but I think that he would have been very happy to be with us tonight. What a pity that there are no drums in this room. The room is very beautiful, but I have to complain, complain about the lack of drums to, for the suspense. Next, oh, time. next time. <laughs> okay, the second prize goes to Katie Brennan for the photograph Comfort. Miss Brennan is here. There she goes. goes to Mr. Robert Houston. Is he here tonight? For the photograph, that's all. ask for the bios of these artists, I also have to ask for a picture of them because then I don't know who they are and they go, you know. So either you come with a pin. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mr. Newton. It was a wonderful, it was a wonderful, a wonderful picture. Okay, the five, I think that the five winning photographs are around here in this uh, room, so they can be seen here. Mr. Robert Houston and the first prize, that's all. Mm -hmm. There. And then uh, Circle of Friends by David Lazar, there. And uh, Comfort by Miss Brennan, there. And uh, Little Mayor Dad uh, on the left corner. And uh, Jen Ross, Child Beggar, on the right side. And the other 25 pictures are downstairs. And I really would like you to tour them and tell me what do you think about them. I hope that they can be really helpful in raising awareness about children on these uh, uh, terrible issues that uh, that unfortunately happen in uh, here and there all around in the world. And I hope that for this reason, as we need your help, you can be generous and bid on them. Thank you.